Hello there, this is Matt and in this video I hope to not only help you improve your English but also to explain to you a very important part of Australia and the Australian environment and that is the Australian bush. So often my students will ask me what did you do on the weekend and I will say I went to the bush, or I went bushwalking, or I went taking photos. I went to take photos of animals like kangaroos in the bush. And many students can be confused. What's the bush? What do you mean the bush? What is the bush? So in this video, I'm going to explain and also hopefully show you what is the Australian bush. So let's begin. And first of all, we need to understand what is a bush. So another word for a bush is a shrub. And these both mean a small plant, which could be 20 or 30 centimetres, and not well structured. Or it could be a small tree of one, two, or sometimes even three metres tall, as long as it is bushy. That means it has a lot of leaves, and they are not organized very well. They go out in all directions. So this is a bush, but what is the bush? Okay, so the bush can mean many different things in Australia. The basic idea is that it is an undeveloped area, a wild natural area without too many houses or man-made areas or facilities. So, for example, it could be a flat grass area like this, or taller grasslands, or it could be trees as well. And we can always see native Australian animals, and sometimes other European animals that have been introduced to Australia. So, it can mean farmlands, just as long as the area is not too developed. And we can see the Australian bush is not always organised. So there can be small plants, very dry grass. Australia is a very dry country. And also these kangaroos are headed for the bush area. So the bush can also go or extend to the coastline. Even though the plants, the bushes are small, we could call this area part of the bush or bushland. But to really understand what is the bush, we should go and take a look. So let's go and take a look at what the real bush looks like. Okay, so to, as I said, to really understand the Australian bush, here it is. We need to go and see it. And this is a classic or very typical example of the Australian bush. Here we are in Victoria's high country. This high country means up in the high mountain areas of Victoria. As you can see, the bush means an undeveloped area with lots of trees, lots of bushes, lots of plants, and in here will be lots of animals. And you might think this is a forest, and that is true. The main difference is that a forest refers to a wooded, so if there's lots of trees, we call it a wooded area in Europe or America. Now this is the bush and it's very hard to get into. So that can be one of the differences between the bush and the forest. Here, my friends are camping but it's very difficult. You need a four wheel drive car to be able to get into this area. But there's a beautiful river. There's lots of Australian animals, koalas, kangaroos, native fish, snakes, lizards, many different types of animals. But as you can see, it's very difficult to travel through. So when I've been to forests in Europe or America, they're much easier to walk through and travel through than the bush in Australia. Although it's not just because it's thick 
that it's called the bush. We just call any undeveloped area the bush. This is just a beautiful example of the bush with a nice river running into a bigger lake area. So this is one example of the Australian bush. Now let me just get you another um, different angle to look at of the bush. Now, as I said, the bush can be very thick and it can be very difficult to travel through. Here we have a different view of the Australian bush. Now, lots of animals live through here and you might say, well, it looks like the jungle. And that's true. It does look like the jungle, only it's not tropical. It doesn't have to be tropical and we don't have this thick, long, uh, they're called vines, the long coiling plants that we find in the jungles of Africa and Asia. And it doesn't have the tropical climate or it doesn't have to have the tropical climate. So the bush can mean many things. But really, generally in English, we talk about forests or woodlands in America and Europe. And when we talk about Asia and Africa, of course, they can have the bush, they can have forests, they can have woodlands or the woods, but they also have jungles. So in Australia, we don't have jungles. We do have forests. This is a perfect example, but the forests are not organized. They're not as well structured or, or straight as European forests. So I hope that this video helps to make it a little bit clearer for you just what the Australian bush looks like. As you can see, it's really beautiful. And one day you should try to make sure that you get out into the Australian bush. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will try to make more videos to explain nature shortly.